Hi guys, Alice Taylor down at Living Golf Academy and today we're going to talk about why you should stop tinkering with your driver. Right then guys, so this is something I see a huge amount of down at LGA that guys are on the range hitting shots and they hit a bad one and straight away the wrench is out, they're adjusting the driver then they'll hit another couple of decent ones and another bad shot. Then they tinker with the driver again. The key thing initially is, have you been fitted for your driver? If you have, in theory, that driver is set up correctly for you. The bad shots are then down to you. I know that's a horrible thing to have to accept, but simply changing your driver after every single shot there's no way you can tell whether the driver's right and you're ultimately not getting great feedback as to what you're doing during your golf swing. So I'm going to hit some shots with my driver set up correctly and then I'm going to tinker depending on what it does and we're going to see how the performance changes so much with driver. So guys, if this is your first time watching my videos, welcome to Ali Taylor Golf. Hope you enjoy the content that's coming up. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Do my content for you guys so you play better and enjoy your golf more. But for now, let's get on with why you should stop tinkering with your driver. Right then, guys, so I'm going to use my driver. I've got the Titleist TS3 currently. Uh, nine and a half head set at B1. So this is still nine and a half loft, but more fade bias. And I've got the Hazardous Smoke 6.5. Now, generally speaking, with this club, I hit the ball fairly straight maybe a tiny little fade but let's hit a few shots let's see what the golf ball does and let's show you what too many guys do in my opinion and show you how it really affects the performance of the driver so i know that i'm going to get some pretty good numbers out of this if i make a good swing i've just turned that over a little bit I'd take that though, good solid shot. I'm getting out there, so some good numbers. So, as long as driver's performing like that, I don't think guys have any real issue sticking with something. But, as an example, I would see somebody maybe on the range, they'll stand there and they just hit one good one. And the next one curves over to the right. And they maybe hit two or three like that, and, you know, we can see there, that would have maybe just clung onto the edge of the fairway, but all the performance has dropped out. Now, I just don't think golfers are great at taking responsibility, so what golfers will do is they'll say, oh no, that one's faded. Right, so, I've got my key, let's undo the head, and, you know, it launched very kind of bottom end at 10.3 as well, so maybe add some loft and close it. So I'm gonna go from B1 to D3. So that's now gonna get me up to 10.25 degrees loft, but it's also gonna go fully draw bias. Okay, so it's almost as far away from my actual setup as possible. So straight away, guys stand there and they go, right, perfect. No more of those horrible little slices. Okay, so I'll stand there. And let's say first shot. They think, oh no. Oh, that, that's faded as well. Now, maybe not quite as bad as the first one. But it went a little bit further. Okay, so maybe didn't, the shape wasn't quite as bad as the first one. So they think, right, I can't get this one any more closed. So I'm just going to make another good swing. Stick with this one for now. Oh, no. Now it's gone a long way left. Again, felt a really good contact. And again, that distance is great. But all of a sudden there, within two or three shots, I've had 
one shot that's missed right, so I've tweaked my driver. The next one's gone right, but been slightly better. And then my next one's gone way left. Now I would argue that if I'm delivering the club relative consistently, which nobody's perfectly consistent, the whole point of that driver fitting is I get that set up to match how I deliver the golf club. So then just because I've hit a cut on that poor one, I've got to say, what was that down to? Was that down to the driver or was that down to me? Ultimately, it's always down to you. The driver can be set up to assist. So what I would love to see with guys is when you've been fitted, don't tinker. If you haven't been fitted, well, you're playing kind of a bit of roulette there with your own uh, stuff. But even if it's just a case of you don't want to switch driver, but you've got something that's adjustable, literally get it set how you should be. And then you can be honest with yourself and say, look, I just didn't make a good swing there. And I don't have an issue with that. If I've swung poorly, I kind of get what I deserve. If I swing okay, the ball should be relatively playable. So if I now move that back to my normal setting, now it's all down to me. The club's right. Again, we didn't see too much shape on my first one. So we're just going to stand up, put a good swing on it, hopefully. And there's probably the tiny bit of shape that I would expect. I've aimed dead straight there, having not shaped the first one. But we can see that's in play, and again, almost identical to that first one that I've hit. Certainly in distance, but both of them would have been very, very playable. So that's my last one. That's my first one, both comfortably in the fairway, and I've got a chance to go from there. But please, please, please stop tinkering with driver, take responsibility for the bad shot yourself, and really trust that that driver is set up to help you hit better shots. Right then guys, so you can see there, you know, the whole point of being fitted for your driver is that when you make not even your best swing, but a reasonable standard swing, you get really good performance out of that driver. And that will definitely be the case if you've taken the time to go and get fitted and paid your hard earned money for a driver fitting that's then correct for you. What I do hate seeing though is when guys start tinkering and it almost becomes that point where they actually start thinking of changing driver even though it's the thing on the end of the driver that's changing most. So always stick with it. If you're struggling with driver, get along and have a lesson with somebody. That's the best way. Get proper feedback as to what you're doing. Because the worst thing is a lot of the time guys are changing driver setup based on what they think they've done. And when they're actually not doing that to begin with, when they hit a good shot, again, they've not done what they think. So be more consistent, stick with that driver and be honest with yourself. Did you actually concentrate on what you were doing? Because if you've been fitted correctly, that driver will perform at its best when you make a decent or good or great golf swing. You need to get back doing that more often. That way you're gonna hit the ball further, straighter and enjoy your golf even more. So guys, if you have enjoyed today's video, like and share it, comment below, I'll get back to as many people as I can. Subscribe to the channel if you don't already by clicking the subscribe button, but remember to ring that notification bell so you find out as soon as I drop new content. Follow me on all my social media platforms, all under Ali Taylor Golf. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here soon. Stay in contact.